everybody welcome back to another video in this video we are going to be doing yet again another update of well not yet again because we haven't actually done this update before uh, this is going to be an update of cleveland hopkins international airport i say international very briefly as air canada is currently the only international um, airline that serves this airport however you know airlines like frontier and southwest not not southwest actually i don't think do serve some international destinations uh, but yeah this is going to be a um, bit of a bit of an interesting update um, because this is an airport i know a little bit more about rather than you know other airports like bermuda um, i didn't have to look a lot of this up because um, i've been flying to cleveland to see family for a while now um, a few years now so um, yeah i know i know a fair bit about cleveland and cleveland is split up into four concourses so you've got concourse a b c and you guessed it d so d is kind of an abandoned concourse as it were um it doesn't actually have any flights that go out of it you can actually see i think i think i got a video of the concourse d because you can see it from um i actually left from concourse c when i i uh, did that trip report and i think i did actually uh, take a little video of concourse d if i did i'll put that onto the video now if if I didn't, then it just won't be here and you'll just have to wonder what I'm thinking about. But um, yeah, Concourse D is kind of um, abandoned. Um, I've kind of merged Concourses A and B for this update because Concourses A um, have Frontier, Spirit and Allegiant fly out of Concourse A. However, I just have Frontier planes. So you can see these two gates here are going to be just the Concourse A flights. Concourse B are the rest of this and then we'll have Concourse C as the main one with the Gemini Jets terminal. And then at the end I'm also going to throw in something that um, is quite special to Cleveland I guess you could say but yeah without further ado I guess we're just going to jump into it so here on the right there you can see we've got a Frontier A320 um, he's going to be heading out to Cancun and then below that there we have a Frontier A320 Neo he's going to be heading out to Tampa and then here we move on to Concourse B uh, so as I said I've merged Concourses A and B so we've just seamlessly gone into B but Concourse B serves Delta and Southwest so we're going to go through the Southwest and Delta planes now. Uh, starting off here on the right, we have a Southwest 737-800. He's just about ready for pushback and he's going to be heading out to Baltimore. And then on the left there, we have a Southwest 737-700. Uh, he's going to be heading out to Nashville. Then next here on the right there, we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. Um, he's going to be heading out to Denver. And then on the left there, we have a Delta 737-900. He's going to be heading out to Atlanta. And in the back there, if you can see just taxiing in, we have have a United uh, A319 in the new livery. He's just arrived in from Chicago O'Hare. Then finally, to conclude concourses A and B, we have this Delta Connection CRJ200. Um, he's gonna be heading out to Detroit. Next here, this is the main one. So this is uh, Concourse C. This is probably the busiest concourse, I guess you could say. Uh, this serves United, uh, JetBlue, and American Airlines. Um, now, United have a bit of a history with uh, Cleveland originally Continental had a hub here at Cleveland and then when United and Continental merged United had a hub here I think it was declassified as a hub in 2016 now it's just more of a heavy United presence so it's not classified as a hub but there are quite a few United flights that kind of if you've ever been to Cleveland that kind of circular um, terminal at the end of kind of like Concourse C uh, that's the kind of area that serves all the uh, United flights and then moving down, you've got um, the American uh, flights down there and as well JetBlue. And also Air Canada Express fly out of this terminal as well. Um, they fly out of the area that United fly out of in that big, like, you know, circular concourse bit. Uh, but I don't actually have any Air Canada aircraft in this update just because... I don't. Starting off down at the American section now, I know you can't really see it, but behind that jet bridge we have an American Eagle uh, E-175. Um, he's just arrived in from LaGuardia and then next we have an American Eagle uh, CRJ-700. Uh, he's just about to head out to Charlotte's. Now I actually did take this flight, but it was on the American A319, but the other way around. If you remember back to my American Eagle uh, trip port, uh, that was kind of a mess of a trip port. That was Lufthansa from Abuja to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Dallas, Dallas to Charlotte, Charlotte to Cleveland. But that final leg of the trip there, that was on an American A319 and um, that was actually my first time in real life 
seeing the United new livery and I saw it at Cleveland so you know this airport does have some pretty significant ties to United uh, for me anyway uh, but then moving on to our final American aircraft we have an American mainline 737-800 um, he's going to be heading out to Dallas Next to him there we have a JetBlue A320, he's going to be heading out to uh, Fort Lauderdale. And next here we have the uh, new and the old United 737-800 liveries. On the left we have the new United livery, uh, the 737-800, uh, he's going to be heading out to San Francisco. And then on the right there we have a United 737-800 in the older livery, he's going to be heading out to Los Angeles. Next here, just arrived in, we have a United Express E175. Um, he's just arrived in from Houston. And then next here, we have our last two United Express aircraft. Uh, on the left there, we have a United Express E175. Um, he's going to be heading out to Newark. And then on the right there, here we have, this is a CRJ 550, but I'm going to be saying this is a CRJ 700 just for this update. The only difference of these two aircraft is actually on the interior of the plane, so it doesn't make a lot of difference. Uh, but here we have a United Express. CRJ 700, he's going to be heading out to Washington, Dallas. The only reason I say that is because I flew a CRJ 700 from Cleveland to Dallas in my United Express trip. So yeah, that does conclude um, the Concourse C. I'm now going to move on to cargo and then I'm going to um, go on to a bit of a special thing, I guess you could say. Yeah, back here a little bit backlit, you can see we've got on the left there, we've got a UPS 767-300. Uh, uh, he's going to be heading out to Louisville and then on the right there we have a uh, FedEx 757-200. Uh, he's going to be heading out to Newark. And then just to finish it off, I thought I might add in these two aircraft. If you can't see what they are, we've got the Iceland Air 737 Max 8 and the WOW Air A321neo. Now the reason I didn't add this into these into the main update is because of course these airlines don't um, fly to this airport anymore. Of course, WOW Air doesn't even exist anymore and Iceland Air currently aren't flying the 737-8. Um, but Back in 2016, I believe it was, both of these uh, airlines were flying both of these planes uh, to this airport. So of course they're both heading out to uh, Reykjavik or Keflavik. Keflavik airport obviously serves Reykjavik, so you can either say Reykjavik or Keflavik, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I thought I'd, I'd finish it off there with these two aircraft. It just looks like a really nice lineup. You've got some really nice colors with the, um, of course, the American livery back there, um, the JetBlue livery, the WOW Air, kind of like purpley pink livery, Iceland Air, the United new and old livery. It just looks, this is really nice. And so I think I might make this my thumbnail, to be honest. But apart from that, that does conclude this update. I hope you did enjoy it. And apart from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.